Peeling back the layers of the part I've been playing for you Used to be so easy Now I get queasy When things start going wrong Hello everyone and welcome for those of you who don't know me, my name is Nastaran, and I have a little house in Pahoa, Hawaii, and I'd like to share my everyday life with you. So, the time has come for me to go back to San Diego and address my broken finger. Just to give you a quick recap, my little finger broke on January 8th, which was a month ago, while I was misbehaving, as Barb puts it. And I had climbed a tree to collect the fallen bird nest fern. I was seeing ER and had it casted, but I wasn't able to see a doctor for follow-up. I need to get it checked in San Diego, and I'm hoping the doctor says, all is good and go about your life. Wouldn't that be nice? I miss Michael and Ava so much, and so happy to reunite with them. But in the back of my mind, I'm already missing Hawaii. Watching from the sides as you go through life with wonder in your eyes. How you do it Try not to lose it Just hold it on You don't walk, you levitate doctor's office they confirmed that yeah my little finger is pretty screwed up and it's gonna need surgery to fix it they set up to go in and get it fixed a 
And in the meantime, it's going to be in this super duper cast. And I'm not in bed because I'm, I'm sick or something. Um, just came back from outside and oh, this San Diego weather is cold. I know there are other places that are probably a lot colder, uh, colder I'm sure. But to come from Hawaii with 70 something, then be right here with 40 degrees weather, it's a little much. At night it goes to freezing point. So I came home and I was just a little too cold. I thought I snuggled with my little blankie. I was also thinking, oh, what am I gonna do about my gray roots that are coming out? <laughs> I'm gonna have surgery and this is gonna be in the cast for another four weeks after that. If you see me with gray hair, please understand, okay? Thank you. surgery <clears throat> pretty groggy my hand is doing good miss little pumpkin is keeping me company and i'm gonna take a nap so i'll talk to you later <laughs> See before he was oh, kind of no. angled up on me, and now he's nice and straight. Oh, yeah, the sun is going backwards in there, but <laughs> so it all looks good. All right. Um, Painting. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I have Frankenstein fingers now. <laughs> mm -hmm. While I was healing from the surgery, we did a lot of different things. We spent the day collecting sea glass and shells, which I love to do so much. We also did a few DIY home improvement projects. The first one was to create a new coffee bar area and getting the wall prepared for a backsplash. The second one was to remove a wall in the kitchen and turn the existing counter into an island. As usual, my cast didn't stop me one bit and I found a way to do everything like I always do. We also hung out at Joe and Joelle's house while enjoying some appetizers together.
today is Saturday and I'm invited to a church bingo and there's breakfast provided isn't that wonderful how people arrange things to different excuses to get together so I'm going with Barb I'm sure it will be fun meeting new people playing a big uh, game of bingo we shall see but I'll take you with me if you like to come Today is Easter and I'm in Hawaii. <laughs> I am invited to Barb's house for Easter dinner, Easter spaghetti dinner. So I'm so excited to be going. It's a beautiful day. It's been raining for two weeks in Hawaii, but today was a sunny day. Hope wherever you are, you're having a beautiful Easter. Happy Easter! so blessed to have this very large Hawaiian mountain apple tree in my backyard and it's blooming right now which is a spectacular sight to see. The flowers are pom-pom looking and so pretty. As the petals fall off they create this pink blanket covering the ground below. Mountain apple tree was first brought by the original Polynesian settlers to the islands. They are really not from the apple family and belong to the guava family. They are sweet and have a single large seed inside. So you wonder what do they taste like, right? Well, to me, they have a texture like pear and have sweet rosy flavor. It's delicious and so very juicy. My tree fruited twice last year for me, once in spring and once in the summer. I usually get tons of apples and I gave away as many as possible to share. Next time you see them in the farmer's market, try it and I hope you really enjoy.
ever wonder if days like these last with one another with the feeling past would you find out with me It all starts to crumble We'll search the pieces For hope or a mumble It's not for me A day. Do you feel it? Do you feel that high energy in the air? It is so wonderful. It's energizing. Like this morning, I was kind of low energy, had no motivation, and I step out, and what I was missing, the ocean gave me. Thank you, Ocean. Until we meet again. If we know what's best for one another, are we just another pride? If we search the pieces, would we be better on both? You're probably wondering what ever happened out there. I had an umbrella and I went to the beach to take some videos of the waves crashing and all that and then the wind was so strong that it made my umbrella go inside out so I walked all the way home in the pouring rain and I am soaked all the way through I thought to myself so what it's not like it's freezing cold so I tried to enjoy it actually I tried to take advantage of it, jump in the puddles, and take it all in. Why not? It's just one more element in the nature that I already enjoy. So why not? A little kid inside me is still alive. Apparently, that was so good. If it's not going to freeze you, try it sometimes. It gives you something. I can't put my finger on it or know what to call it, but it's awesome. And hope we know when it's better to say goodbye. Today is one of those days that I don't have anything planned, but there is a lot of gardening uh, to be done. I just can't get myself started. It's kind of windy and I didn't want to do anything else, but I gotta do this gardening. So I thought make it a little easier for myself to really get into the groove I'm gonna go for a walk by the way do you remember I showed you my shoe that I said I was going to get rid of you know it just turns out it's one of my most comfortable 
shoes ever. I threw it in the garbage a couple of times and then I went and got it out and wore it some more and then I threw it out in the garbage again and I <laughs> did the same thing. I just can't get myself to throw it out. So, you know, if anybody is going to judge me for wearing a shoe full of holes, I decided it's going to be okay because my reward of being very comfortable in a pair of shoes is a lot greater. I did, however, put some glue where it had opened in the front, so at least it doesn't have that damage to it. Yeah, I'm getting more and more excited about going on a walk and see what what I can run into. There is always something. You think you've gone through this walk before and there's not a thing you are going to see anymore. Not true. But there are wonders around every corner. So that's what I'm going to do. Last month, an incident happened which shook me up a bit. There was a car with two people in it that came to my street, and although nothing physically harmed me, but it was traumatic enough and really crossed my safety boundaries. For a while, I had a dark cloud hanging over my head, and it was hard to shake it off. After a few days of soul searching and meditating, the dark cloud seemed to go away, and I thought I was all better. But the truth is that I was still dealing with a lot of anxiety. Some rational and some irrational anxieties. And some of them have deeper roots in my life. Perhaps one day I will tell you guys about the cause of all this anxiety and a ton of PTSD for me. I always visualize the anxieties I carry with me like a flood that is being held securely behind these gates. But when a traumatic event, big or small, such as what happened last month, comes to play, these gates break and the anxiety flood is no longer contained behind the gates. Every little thing makes me anxious. The phone ringing, my doorbell, driving in traffic, garbage truck going by, helicopters and many other things. And yes, lately I have been going through a tough period of time at with all of those. What usually helps me is distraction, nature, gardening, Hawaii, and meditation, but it's no longer enough. I know I will eventually come out of it, but this time it's just taking forever to resolve. I never wallow in it, and I have a deep understanding that all hardship have a way of teaching us lessons and accept it wholeheartedly. But in the meantime, the struggle is real. Any one of you listening have had any similar anxieties you can share with me? It would really help. Thank you for listening. Thank you to all of you beautiful people for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take good care of yourself and I will see you in the next one. Wherever you are and whatever you do, put love in your heart and peace in your soul and keep that beautiful smile on your face. Sending hugs and kisses to every one of you. Mahalo.